Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how I package my Etsy orders. The amount of stuff you can buy on Amazon these days makes packaging your orders significantly more important. Adding character and that personal touch will really go a long way in making the customer feel special. This will make it more likely that customers return to your shop instead of choosing a bigger online competitor. If you want to see how I package my Etsy orders, then keep on watching. All right guys, here's what you need. Tissue paper for boxing and for each flute. Thank you cards, scissors. Thank you stickers, fragile stickers, tape dispenser with tape, packing tape with tape gun, various types of bubble wrap, boxes, a label printer, and a food scale. So, once I lay everything out that I need, I get to work. I fill each individual champagne glass with tissue paper. And I actually broke down the cost of this step and it only cost me approximately two cents a glass to fill it with tissue paper. So those two cents go a long way. A lot of buyers ask me if the glasses come with tissue paper and I really should make that clear in my listings. I'm not sure why I didn't do that already but they look really pretty afterwards and customers always tell me that they look so pretty in their review. So now it's on to bubble wrapping. I bubble wrap each individual glass with this awesome bubble wrap from Staples. Yes, I'm serious when I say it's awesome. It's super thick. I bought bubble wrap from Amazon a bunch of times and it's thin and the bubbles are popped. Um, this bubble wrap is thick. It has perforated edges already so I don't have to waste time cutting up the bubble wrap. And I believe it is buy two, get one free, so it's about $13 a roll of 175 feet. So now we're on to boxing. I get these boxes off of Amazon. It's usually around anywhere from $15 to $25 for a pack of 25. I get all different sizes. So I actually use this bubble wrap that my glasses come in, so I just repurpose a lot of bubble wrap. I actually repurpose all the bubble wrap I use except for the bubble wrap I get from Staples. And then I like to decorate it with a little color. Um, I like to decorate it with a little metallic. A lot of my vinyl that I use for the glasses are metallic, so it, it goes well. And yeah, it's all about just making sure that like all edges are covered with bubble wrap and just making sure it's really secure. That's why I like this bubble wrap from Staples because it's super thick so I don't have to worry too much. I really don't get too many, um, I don't really get too many customer complaints about things breaking. Um, I used to a lot, but I, I don't really anymore. I think it's because of this bubble wrap, so highly suggest it. So yeah, then I fold over the tissue paper, I tuck it in, I make sure it's nice. And I created these thank you cards, so I just throw it right on top and secure it in place with a thank you sticker, which I got from Amazon. But I created the, the thank you card, I designed it myself, and I also sell that thank you card as an editable and printable in my shop. And it's actually very successful. A lot of people really like that. Oh, and also, if you go to lovelissy.com, you can sign up for my newsletter and get one of my best-selling thank you cards for free just from joining the newsletter. So check lovelissy.com. Um, okay, so now I'm putting on the fragile stickers. This is just important um, so USPS isn't too rough with the packages 
And then I use the food scale to weigh my packages. So this is two pounds, a little over two pounds, seven ounces. So two pounds, eight ounces. And then I have my Dymo printer. Awkward. Yeah, my Dymo print just wasn't working, but I got it to eventually work. Um, I really do recommend the Dymo printer. So guys, that's how I package my orders in a nutshell. If you want that free downloadable thank you card that I was talking about earlier, then go to lovelizzy.com and fill out your email address when you're prompted with the promotional pop-up. If you want my three tips on how to gain visibility and sales on Etsy, then click right here on this video. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll catch you in the next one. Bye.